All right, you ready to do this? Let's go. All right, first stop on the road to Firestone. Road to Firestone. Here in sunny, no, not so sunny today, in Ventura, California, right at the Ventura Pier. First stop is Made West, their little tasting room here, which I like to say probably has the best views of any brewery tap room in Southern California. Especially when it's a beautiful day, right? It's overcast right now. If the sun's out, blue skies, absolutely. Best view in Ventura from a tap room. Well, at least the beer's good today, right? Yep. All let's right, bring some. let's get in, check it out. Cheers. First beer of the trip. Yeah, yeah. Pretty damn good. Lunch beers. All right, is it time to hit the road? No. All right, where's our next stop? Next stop is the back room at Valley Brewers. Awesome little spot in Solvang, California. Yeah, I love this spot because it's uh, almost like the only craft beer speakeasy that exists in Southern California. So it doesn't exist. don't tell anyone. Give it a whirl, man. Uh, do I have a milk mustache? Yeah, you do. I do now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, love this place. Back room in solving, speakeasy style. This is the speakeasy. Let's give it a, a little twirl. Awesome tapless here. A really nice like craft beer sanctuary in Solvang. Nowadays, it's membership only to get back here, but only a hundred bucks uh, for the year. I'm considering signing up. I think up. it is worth it. <laughs> That's a great deal. <laughs> so anytime you guys are in Solvang, check it out. If you're not a member, what is it? If they're not busy, it's five buck cover to get in. Just be a member, I, just be a member. Yeah. This is one of our favorite craft beer spots on the central coast. Hidden gem, 100% worth it. Great people, amazing beer. Did we already shoot this this beer list here? We did. Show them the beer but list. But you know what? Here's the back room. Come to the back room. After what, three years since going there? Never disappoint. It felt so good to be home. I love this place. Yeah. I feel like not enough people know about it. It's a little under the radar, but honestly, Every well, time I'm in this feels area. It's like home. Just because what Chris and Sandy are awesome. Yeah. And they're welcoming <laughs> as fuck. I love them. I love them. Yeah. Uh, such a great beer selection. They care about the beer. Uh, they give a shit about a good experience. And it shows. So every time we're in solving, this is the stop. We're heading to the car. It's time to go. Yeah, what's the next spot again? The next spot? We're going to slow. Let's see what's up there. All right. Tuning in here from There Does Not Exist in San Luis Obispo. Stop number three of the trip. What do you got, Mac? I've got Memory Machine. This is a West Coast IPA, uh, a blend of old school and new school hops. It is ever so sweet, but very dank, uh, and a little bit of pine seeps through. This one is tasting really fucking good. Ooh, I'm jealous. I went uh, with a lager. This is super fresh, just released yesterday. 60 days in hell. Hell is lager, lagered for 45 days. Uh, this is right up my alley. It's refreshing, it's delicious. It's got just that really nice, sweet, delicate kiss of malt. Hmm. 
It's delish. It's delish. Perfect day out here and slow. So glad to be here at There Does Not Exist. Uh, I don't know how I'm gonna get out of here without drinking like 10 beers. Well, you so. know what? We're inching ever so closely to Paso, so you can up it a little bit. All right, let's drink these beers and uh, I guess we'll hit the road soon. All right. Cheers. Ooh, this looks delicious and I am so excited to drink it. Okay, so I guess we're leaving There Does Not Exist with some goodies. Quite the haul here. Super excited to get back to the room and start chugging some cans, man. But first, first, we are headed over to Liquid Gravity just across town. Let's check it out. Okay, here we are, Liquid Gravity, out in the beer garden. This is a beautiful space. Uh, what busy, you... busy day here at Liquid Gravity. <laughs> yeah, man, it's great. Um, weather's perfect, beers are flowing. What do you got? Well, I got the Liquid Gravity IPA, the Ooh. namesake. All mosaic, juicy, juicy, delicious beer. Can't go wrong with an all mosaic IPA. And we recently just had this one not too long ago at a beer bar with many other heavy hitter IPAs. And this one stood out by far. So even better from the source. Awesome. And what about you? What am I drinking right now? Kicking something? Flipping out. Flipping out. I'm flipping drinking out. flipping out. It's West Coast IPA. They said it's a new school West Coast IPA. Let's give it a try. Really nice, really bright. Got a slight bit of dankness on it, but really nice fruitiness, a uh, great hit of citrus, almost like a uh, tangerine grapefruit. New school as hell. Really delicious stuff. Hey, uh, loving liquid gravity. Can we trade? Oh, we're gonna trade here, huh? Yeah, which one's better? First impression. I like mine. Mine's a little fruitier. A little fruitier. This one, yeah, the, the liquid gravity's got a little more dankness to it. It does, yeah. Both delicious beers. Fantastic. Liquid Gravity's killing it. It's been a long time coming since we've gotten our asses up here. Yes. And I'm so glad to be yes. here. Cheers. Cheers. First time at Liquid Gravity. First impressions. I mean, great space. Big outdoor patio. Looked like they're setting up for some music. So that seems like a regular thing. So uh, from the entertainment aspect, cool. If that's your thing. Beers are on point. So... No yeah. matter what, you're gonna go there, you're gonna get a great beer. They had some food trucks, they got entertainment as I mentioned. Just seemed like a really fun place to hang out in slow. Yeah, we went West Coast IPA on this round and they did not disappoint. Family friendly, group friendly, beer nerd friendly. You really kind of capture all different audiences at Liquid Gravity. I was pleasantly surprised. I would definitely make that a stop on any trip through slow again. Uh, but we are now leaving San Luis Obispo. We are. So we're on the road. Where are we headed? We are on our way to Wild Fields. Wild Fields, Atascadero, I think, what, 15 minutes away. Yeah. Uh, uh, Wild Fields just pulled in four medals at World Beer Cup. These guys are hot right now. They're the talk of the town. Basically, anyone traveling up the coast to go to Firestone Walker is stopping at Wild Fields, and I'm really excited to check them out. So I guess uh, pay attention to the road. Get me there safe, okay? Let's go. All right. Here we are, Wild Fields Brewing, Atascadero. Okay, so pulling up, you see a movie theater, you see the shopping center. You're like, what is this place all about? It's not your typical industrial warehouse brewery. First impressions walking in. <laughs> first impressions, I think what you see first is the array of like arcade games that they have in there. Ski, or arcade games, ski ball, bowling. How do we put it? It's like a craft beer Chuck E. Cheese, in a way? I think that's pretty accurate, yeah. A lot of kids. I'll a lot of kids way. here. So we're not, not your filming inside brewery. too much. We don't want to, you know. <laughs> but, um, you know. Beer's good. Food's good so far. We're happy to be here. Uh, don't expect your typical brewery. Bring your kids if you got them. What are you drinking, buddy? I don't know the name of it, but it's a Mosaic IPA. And what do you think about it? <laughs> give it a whirl. I mean, give it a whirl. 
You just came from Liquid Gravity where you had one of the best Mosaic IPAs. Hey, this one's not too bad. Yeah? I think it's uh, almost comparable. Dank, juicy. I mean, you really can't go wrong with a full Mosaic IPA at most times, especially when brewed by Ryan Fields. Sounds delicious. I have their award-winning uh, brown ale. I can see why it wins awards. I'm not a big brown ale guy, but this is delicious. I mean, it's roasty and malty and caramelly, uh, super clean. Very delicious. It's got a dessert vibe to it that I'm not sure if it's going to pair well. Oh, you took my bite. All right, we got pretzels. We got spinach artichoke dip. It's going to be a good meal. I'm going to enjoy these beers. Okay, we don't have very long of a drive ahead of us. Uh, next stop is Ancient Owl, and it's literally like 30 seconds down the road. So I think we have to check it out by default. Might as well. Let's hope they have some good beers on tap. Yes. That's Ancient Owl. Wow. What a spot. Whew. It was kind of a party. Big party in there. Uh, wonderful tap list. It was fun. Wonderful tap list. Great bottle list. Super impressed. Glad we stopped in. We're in the final stretch. Next stop is Paso. All right, we're going. Whew. Wow. That was a fucking journey. An we're here. Yeah, an awesome trek up to Paso. Uh, we're at the hotel now. Very tired, but very stoked for tomorrow. It's going to be an awesome time at the Firestone Walker Invitational. We'll see you guys there. Today, it's festival day, baby. It's fest day, baby. Uh, we're walking over to the fest right now. Can't wait to get inside. Let's go. We're, we're in. in. We're inside. Uh, I'm honestly overwhelmed looking around at all these breweries. I don't know where to start. I don't know what to do. Uh, any suggestions? I mean, I'm seeing some good stuff over here from Humble Sea. There's not exist, although we were just there yesterday. I don't know, I think we need to take a lap and sort of prioritize a little bit, if we can do that. I see Trillium right there and the Veil. I'm going right there. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. Let's go. Nagel sighting, hey. five minutes in. How are you? What's up, brother? How are you? Doing some thrifting. That's the way shit. to do it right there. Like, make it a family trip. So good. Yeah. Except Don't there's see. like seals barking all night. Seals? <laughs> <laughs> like I, thought, I was sleeping out. next to a seal last night. It was yeah. terrible. Survivor had to survive. <laughs> <laughs> Here at, I'm going to butcher the pronunciation. Brewery Shonrum. Prost. Good job, guys. Delicious. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of screwed up the first beer of the fest because I got that fruited sour tastes like drinking jam this so is this is first, my round two is this your first beer festival oh my god i mean it feels like i know like it's it, been five years right? for me since last time i was here <laughs> all right here we are smack dab in the first line of today's beer festival this line right here is going to be like four times as long okay. in about an hour so garage project yeah i mean one of these breweries that you never get on a regular basis so when they're here in town you gotta jump in line and you gotta try them. Garage Project Chaco Nana Avocado? Chaco Nana Manicado. 11% like chocolate banana avocado stout. Uh, this is wild. Uh, this is entirely too early in the day to be drinking something like this, but fuck it, Ooh. it's fest day. So I got the pineapple raspberry topper. So milkshake IPA flared with a raspberry sour. This is incredible. All right, we got to switch. That's refreshing. That's like a nice summer treat. The, this is dessert, man. Yeah, this is good. Dessert. This is good. Banana and a stout. That's the end Woo! of the best beer. All right, we are now beginning the mandatory pilgrimage to the side project line before it becomes insane. It's 
fucking delicious. Yeah, <laughs> so good, super flavorful, light, bright. Yeah, it's 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 got an aggressive flavor profile, but delicate at the same time. Really, really nice. Cheers. What'd you get? T2? Good luck, pal. Yeah, T2. That's the most popular one here right now at Boneyard. So they're filling up that pitcher after pitcher after pitcher. Uh, well, what well, does it try. taste like? What does it taste like? Pretty classic West Coast style, but not like super bitter. Got a little juiciness to it. Very well balanced. Delicious. All right, of course, Monkish and the line that always encompasses Monkish Brewing at a festival. The Monkish line. Local celeb here. Hey. Banana space cookie, baby. Right. Heard great things about it. I'm not gonna win that line. Let's just be real here. <laughs> I'm dying to hear. Ooh, fresh out of the oven. Very banana-y, but not too sweet. But it's fucking there. It punches you right in the face. But smooth. Again, not overly sweet. Very drinkable. Forever, baby. Thank Cheers. Cheers Citra with nectar on. Honestly, kind of tastes like a different beer. It's juicier. Um, it's a little bit drier. Hmm. It's got a lighter body. A much more kind of orange forward taste. The color um, seems different than I It's completely I different. It's also completely hazy. Yeah. I don't know if you could call this Citra, but you can call it delicious, and that's what I'm doing right now. I got Camp Nelson. Uh, 5% IPA, so I guess a session, but very good, earthy, yeah. herbal. Nelson, baby. Ventura County in the house right here. Yo, what up? Too many good beers. Hard to uh, pick a standout right now. Everything is just so good. Firestone always brings it. So say every brewery that comes to this festival. Brings okay, it. so how are you feeling though? Oh, how are you I'm feeling? feeling great. Feeling great. Yeah. Um, what time is it? Are we are we mid fest yet? Two twenty. So, so we're past we're, we're past halfway here. Uh, right. How many beers do you have left in you? A couple? I, no, I think I Eight? got more than a couple. Ten? Maybe ten. Well, you, do you need it? Or how do your feet feel? How's your back? I'm good to go. Man. We're old now. We have to pace ourselves through I'm these things. I'm good to go, baby. We had Let's a big go. day yesterday. Hey. Age is just a state of mind. <laughs> okay, time for more beer and finding more friends. Let's go. See ya. What do we got? We got a pineapple miso glazed pulled pork with a Hawaiian style mac salad underneath with our Edo pig pasta Beautiful. made locally. Got a side pour from Humble Sea of the Keller Penelope. Ooh, German style pills with noble hops. I love this beer regularly, so slow pour. Let's see what's up. Really, really nice. A little crisp, but it's like pillowy still. So pillowy is the word of the day here. Yeah, this is it. Good. Super good. My arm, it's getting tired. It's getting so shaky because the beer's so good. We made it. We connected. Shade. Drinking some monkish. <laughs> this is the spot right up here. This I love is the this. Spot, right yeah. in the shade. This is great. Got the band in the background. Woo! Woo! You know, when you drink a lot here at this fest, you also have to eat. Bah! All right, we're in the, the eye of the storm right here. It's crazy. Love a little Toko love, yeah, a little BC. All right. Last pour. It's officially the end of Firestone Walker Invitational Beer Festival. 
our final pours of the day. What did we get? Uh, so I got Skeleton King from Great Notion. This is a 9.2%, uh, I believe, double hazy IPA. Ending it strong. Wow, Great Notion. Yeah. We saved the best for last, I feel like. I mean, think so? I've, I mean, I've heard such good things about these guys. I've had some great stuff from them. Uh, we waited all day to get a pour. Um, I got, I don't even know what the ABV is on this, but this is a coffee vanilla stout. It looks dark, it looks dangerous, it looks delicious. God, it's syrupy, Ooh. It's this is pastry stout. Uh, it's so weird to be drinking it under the hot afternoon sun. Uh, I gotta save here this is too. delicious though. Like, this is thick, creamy, boozy. I think no better way to end the fest. All right, well that's it for a wonderful Firestone Walker Invitational, as you know, the fun never ends at the fest. There are the after parties, the bottle shares, who knows what the night has in store for us, uh, but the fest was a success, and we'll see what happens next. Cheers.